Hello everyone, it's Rob here. Just with a very quick message before your video starts, I just wanted to remind you that the Draw With Rob activity book is out now. You can get it right now. And if you like these videos, I think you'll really like this book. It's full of lots of the draw alongs of your favorite characters um, and then loads of other stuff like puzzles, um, coloring pages. There's bits where I've started a drawing off and you need to finish it. There's even um, a nice certificate for you at the end if you complete all the activities in this book um, and you can fill in. There's a page which you have to write all about yourself, your favorite things and draw a self portrait, that kind of thing. So I think you'll really like it. Okay, that's enough for me. You need to watch your video. Here it is, your Draw With Rob video. Have fun. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Draw With Rob. With me, Rob Biddulph. Now, I am a children's author and illustrator. You might know me from books like this one, Show and Tell which is a really fun one, all about some children who bring some things into school for show and tell day. Look, they're bringing lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of quite crazy things that we've got racing cars, alligators, all sorts of things, and it gets to the point where they're bringing in things that are quite unbelievable. Look, Violet's brought in Big Ben, that's cool. Oh, Ringo, Ringo, excuse me everyone, I have a visitor, come on then mate. Can you come? Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Now look, you've made me drop my microphone. Let me drop my microphone. Oh, Ringo. Let's put my microphone back on. Here we go. Right. Okay. <sighs> he usually waits a bit longer, doesn't he, before he interrupts me. Where was I? Yes. What other books might you know me for? Odd Dog Out, that one there. Speaking of dogs. Odd Dog Out. It's all about a sausage dog who doesn't fit in with all the other sausage dogs. But today we are going to do a drawing of one of the characters from this book. Now we have drawn a few of the dinosaurs from the Dinosaur Juniors series, haven't we? We have drawn, who have we drawn? We've drawn Gregosaurus, I think that was the very first video that we did. We have drawn Winnie, definitely Winnie, the Tyrannosaurus. Yes, that was a sleepy, sleepy bedtime story video, wasn't it? We've drawn Nancy too, haven't we? And we've drawn Hector the woolly mammoth, and I know a woolly mammoth isn't officially a dinosaur, but today we are going to draw Wilf. Can you see Wilf? He's this one, the orange one here. And he is a baby Diplodocus, Diplodocus, Diplodocus. I think you say Diplodocus, don't you? I always get it wrong, Diplodocus. That's what we're gonna call him today, a Diplodocus. Now, has anyone here ever heard of a Diplodocus? They are those guys who have got the really, really long necks and the long tails. They are one of the largest dinosaurs, I think. If I am right, if my memory serves me correctly, I think they're the ones that grew up to like 27 meters long, like from the tip of their head down to the tip of their tail. That is a big dinosaur and they've got those huge long necks, haven't they? Um, now, Wilf is named after my agent Jody's son, Wilf. So I don't know if you're watching Wilf, but you already know this, I think, but this dinosaur is named after you. So I hope you enjoy drawing along, especially today. So just in case you haven't seen any of these videos before, this is how it works. I'm gonna do a bit of the drawing here on my piece of paper. I'm just gonna draw it a little tiny bit at a time. So then what you can do is when I've done my little bit of the drawing, you pause your video uh, and then you copy exactly what I've done on your piece of paper. Then if you start the video up again, I'll draw a little bit more. Then you can draw, then I can draw, then you can draw, I can draw, you can draw, I can draw, you can draw. And then we're gonna end up with a lovely picture of Wilf, the Diplodocus, Diplodocus, Diplodocus. What did I say? Diplodocus, Diplodocus, Wilf. Let's just call him Wilf from now on. Right, okay, so you're gonna need a piece of paper, something to draw with, and maybe something to color with a bit later on. Shall we get started? Shall I stop talking? Shall we get started? Right, now, this drawing, we are going to start right down at the bottom of our piece of paper today, okay? So what I want you to do is at the bottom, roughly in the middle of your piece of paper, I want you to draw quite a big C shape. Sort of about that big. So going, not, we don't wanna go quite halfway up your piece of paper, but certainly 
what's that, about a third of the way up your piece of paper, a nice big C shape, like that, exactly like that. Then from the top of your C shape, we're gonna go, oh, we're gonna go along a little bit more and we're gonna start curving up and we're gonna head off towards the top of our page like that at a slight angle, like that. So a nice smooth curve. Then from the top here, we are gonna curve around and we're gonna head just straight along the top of the page, just a little bit, like that, about that far, maybe four centimeters, something like that. This is quite a straightforward one actually today. I don't think this is gonna take us too long. Now then, the next thing to do is we are gonna curve back down and we're gonna head straight down the page, not too far, about that far, two centimeters. I'm giving you lots of measurements today, aren't I? Then we're gonna curve around again and we're gonna head back in towards that other line that we drew and we're gonna stop about there. Can you tell which bit of the dinosaur we're drawing? I bet you can, it's pretty easy, isn't it? Okay, then we are going to turn a sharp corner and we're gonna follow this line here. We're gonna follow it back down, but we're not gonna follow it all the way around. We're gonna keep going a little bit when we get to here, just like that down a bit further and then we're going to start heading around but we're going to stop there it's very important that we stop there we don't want to follow it all the way along and of course you can now see that we have drawn the neck and the head of Wilf our Diplodocus. Now the reason we didn't just want to carry on around here to the tail is because we've got to add Wilf's legs in so when we get to this point what we're going to do we're just going to go down curve back around and then head back up in a very simple leg shape like that. Then we need to go along a little bit more and then we're going to do exactly the same leg shape. So try and get it as close as you can to that first one that we drew. Just like that. Then this is the fun bit. We can carry on around, back round here and we're going to draw the tail in. Actually, I'm going to make the tail, Will's tail, a little bit longer. So I'm just going to carry on past that original line and then join it back up there. And can you see I've just gone, I've just made it slightly thinner at the end here because their tails, they were so long and thin, they sort of almost went to a point at the end. And there we go. That is the basic shape of Wilf a Diplodocus. There we go. And you know I use these brush pens. So if I spot any bits that I just want to slightly correct, I can go back over it and do it because these lines are sort of nice and thick. So it means you can sort of, weirdly, you can sort of move them around a bit <laughs> by just sort of making them thicker on one side and thinner on the other. So it's quite a nice way to draw. So there we go, that's the basic outline of Wolf. Now we need to give him, at the moment he's only got two legs. In fact, they had four, so we are just gonna add the same sort of shape as these legs, but going in the opposite direction behind, like that, to make it look like he's sort of walking. There we go. He's now got four legs, looks like he's walking. Okay, I'm gonna switch to a slightly thinner pen now because we just need to add Will's face. We're gonna start with the eye. Now you've, you remember how I draw my dinosaur eyes, don't you? They're very simple, we're just gonna draw quite a big circle in here like that there so just sort of just above that corner and then the eye remember we don't do it bang in the middle like that we do it slightly off to this side to make it look like Wilf is looking straight at us and he's a nice smiley sort of a chap so what we're going to do from this corner here we're going to add a mouth it just sort of comes out and just sort of curves up towards the eye like that it just gives him a nice little smile and do you remember I've told you this before about my eyebrow trick if we want to make somebody look extra smiley we have to add an eyebrow above their eye and I think I've told you before if you add it a long way above the eye it makes them look extra happy now we haven't got much space there so I'm actually going to put the eyebrow outside the top of his head 
which is a trick that lots of cartoonists use actually. Eyebrows, they sort of raise up outside of the head, which of course in real life is totally impossible, isn't it? But in cartoons, it just sort of works. And there we go. That basically is how we draw Wilf the Diplodocus. He's a very simple, he's one of the more simple dinosaurs that, of mine to draw, but he's a lot of fun because there's a lot of nice swooshing curves. So I think because this shape took us, didn't take us as much time as usual, we can take, we can spend a bit more time on the coloring, can't we? Now I'm going to color mine in. The wolf in my books, he is orange. He's a, just a plain orange dinosaur. So I'm going to color, I'm going to stay faithful to my books, but I think you guys can go crazy with your Diplodocus because do you know what? We have no idea what colour they were. We can't tell from what all we've got. The only evidence of dinosaurs that we have are their bones. And scientists, I think they can test various elements in the bones and find out certain facts. Like, for example, in recent years, they have decided that dinosaurs were covered in feathers. So maybe you want to draw your Diplodocus covered in feathers. I don't know. But one thing's for sure, we cannot tell what colour they were. So we don't know whether they were covered in stripes or spots or stars or hearts or anything like that or rainbow color, anything, we don't know. So the rules are, there ain't no rules. You can go crazy with the coloring. Do whatever you like, the crazier the better, that's what I say. That being said, I'm gonna color mine in just plain orange. I might do a bit of shading here and there which you can have a look at and see how I shade uh, my dinosaur and you might wanna copy that, but really it's totally up to you. So listen, I'm going into my usual super speed mode and I'll see you back here in 30 seconds or so. Okay, three, two, one, go. So there we go, there's my finished Wilf. What do you think? He's very simple and plain, isn't he, in terms of his color? You know, just a plain, simple orange, but you know, you can see I've added, can you see I added a little bit of purple and blue around here, just to make that orange kind of darker as it's, to make it look kind of three-dimensional. Quite often you sort of add a color that's a kind of complementary color on the color wheel to make it, to make it look kind of darker and orange and, um, purple always go quite nicely together so I think that's quite a nice little mix and you can see I've added a little bit of grassiness underneath I had a bit more time with this one because it was a simpler uh, job to color him in so I just spent a bit more time on the kind of the the grass and these diplodocuses diplod diplo diplodocus diplodocus these diplodoci they are <laughs> vegetarians aren't they they're veggie sauruses so I thought I'd do him standing in some greenery Maybe you can have a snack on that grass later on. I don't have to eat grass. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, I hope you've had a good time drawing your Wilf. We mustn't forget to sign our drawings, must me. Where, where shall I sign it? I think I'm going to sign it here. Let's sign it here. You know what? I'm going to sign my full name today. I don't always do that. But today, I'm going to. There we go. Rob Bidolf. So don't forget to sign your drawings. I can't wait to see your drawings. I've got a feeling you're gonna come up trumps and do some amazingly colorful diplodocuses, diplodocus. Why can I not remember that? Diplodocus, diplodocus. I'm pretty sure it's diplodocus. Yeah, diplodocus. I think you're gonna have done some amazingly colorful diplodocuses. So I can't wait to see them. So get somebody to take a picture of your drawings and then you can post it on social media using the draw with Rob, hashtag draw with Rob, you see, it says it up there. Um, and I will see your drawings. Hopefully I'll get to see your drawings and who knows, maybe you'll make the grid. So listen, we finished. That's all we've got time for today. I hope you've had fun drawing Wilf. I certainly have. I hope the real Wilf is watching and has drawn um, his version of Wilf, the Wilf that this Wilf was based on. That's my agent's, my agent Jody's son, Wilf. I hope you've liked it, Wilf, because 
he's named after you and it's important that you like him. <laughs> so listen, I'm going to see you all very soon for another episode of Draw With Rob. In the meantime, take care of yourselves and I'll see you later. Bye everyone. Thank you.